If he rushes me, he's, if he tries to hit me, easy. The problem is that he's stalking without overcommitting. That's what I want. I want him to overcommit. It makes my life easier. But he's not. He's kind of staying a little bit more composed. So I've got to figure out a way to cover all of this distance. Now, he can cover some of it for me. Remember, I am going backwards. So as, as he steps into me, I can choose to either step back or not step back. So there's my range. The problem is, is if I try to shoot on him and he's approaching conservatively, and I go to shoot, he'll stop me because he sees me coming. He's not over the minute, he's just walking towards you. He's got to he's coming, he's going to stop. So we need some sort of a distraction. We need something to bring his hands up because if his hands are down, he's going to stop my shot. Whether with his hands or his forms, to stop the shot. So part of it is understanding the range and the other part is using a distraction. Go, one, two, boom. As he falls, immediately both hands go to the biceps. The elbows are sticky. He tries to swim under. My elbows very first. If he swims on the inside, my hands immediately are already swimming on the inside. So as he walks into me, one, two, three, four. So as I change my level, I don't step. I go down and then in. So I'm still following the same pattern as one arm's length, but he's covering the other arm. One, two, three, boom. I get to his hips, I grab his legs, I pull the legs tight to my chest, and I grab him to the ground. The second his hands, his back hits the ground, both of my hands shoot straight north, I come up to both knees, my head is buried, and I have inside control. What you guys tend to do is either one of the following. Either A, you, you do this, one, Two, you step back as you do this. Now you got to cover all this ground with your momentum going back. Or problem two is as you do this, you do this and you shoot. And now my positioning is off to where I'm extended. My weight is over my knee and my back is flat. So I put too much weight on my back. So my hips stay underneath me. I have proper structure. So when I hit the point of impact, my head is up, my back is straight, my hands are down. I'm gluing the thigh to my chest, I drive him down, everything falls nicely. The other thing I'm doing is I'm using my shoulder as a battering ram. So I hit him very aggressively here. Boom! Making him bend at the waist. The more he bends, the more I can suck the legs close to my chest. So as he goes, go one, two, down, and boom! We blast down and go up to both knees, on your toes. Both hands immediately go to the biceps. Go one, Two, oh, oh. Make high, shoot low. The other thing too is when I duck and I throw the strike, when I take my hand down, what is he looking? Straight up. He's looking up here. So it's gonna take him a second to go from here to here. By that time you should be in. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm trying to buy as much time as I can to cover the ground that I need to cover without him detecting what I'm doing. One, two, go. Oh. 